Okay, now we're going to learn centimeter force. Okay, first thing, if you watch the Infinity War, so when the Thanos spaceship invaded Earth, so you can see the shape of the spaceship is like a donut. So it's keep rotating like that. Okay, that is Spider-Man uh, Iron Man game. Okay, so do you wonder? Thanos is very powerful, very advanced in technology. Why the spaceship is like that? Keep rotating. Why not the spaceship more aerodynamic? Okay, so we're going to learn there's a reason why the spaceship is like this and rotating. Okay, now I ask you simple question. Okay, if you are a high jumper, okay, in athletic, okay, this is uh, the pole. Okay, a high jumper, you can see. Before they jump, they make a run. So either like this, and then they jump, or from here, and they jump. Why do they just jump like that? Why you have to gather the forces, the energy from here, then they jump? The same goes to uh, hammer throw or shot put. Okay. So in hammer throw, this is the person. Okay. So they hold the hammer. And then keep rotating. Rotate and rotate and rotate until they have sufficient force and then they release. When they release, the hammer will throw that wing. Will throw that wing. The hammer is not going like that. Rotating above his head or her head. But go in a straight line. Okay, so that's what we're going to learn about centripetal force. Centripetal force, first thing, let's say this is uh, our planet Earth. Okay, then we launch a satellite. Okay, 400, 300 kilometers from the Earth. Okay, so what will the satellite do? Just keep stationary like that? Of course not. If the satellite just stop or floating over here so there will be gravitational force that we learned earlier that will pull the satellite down to the earth okay so what happened the satellite has to do a rotation okay for example a, a roller coaster so if you ride a roller coaster okay the roller coaster go here and then stop right here so of course everyone falls down so the same goes to the satellite. If the satellite stops, so gravitational pull, gravitational force, we learn this, Newton's. Okay, so we put it to the Earth. So it goes to here. The same goes to here. So the roller coaster falls down. So the roller coaster must keep moving. Okay, so now the satellite moves in linear direction. V, linear speed. Okay, so if it's here, so it moves like that. So you say if it's here, so it moves like that. So the satellite try to go in straight direction, linear, but gravitational force make it move towards the earth. Tarik it. Here. So what happened? It will make a circular path. So circular path. Okay, now what is this? This is linear. This is angular. This is speed velocity in straight line. This is speed or velocity in circular motion. Okay, so things you have to mark is the speed does not change. Speed constant means if the speed here is 100 meter per second so over here is 100 meter per second over here is 100 meter per second but velocity does change okay why velocity change you can see the direction are different so we have constant speed but changes in velocity so when we have changes in velocity means we have acceleration okay so we have acceleration tangential acceleration we have centripetal acceleration and we have
kau kena sedikit Okay, you don't need to do Benum about that Okay, so This centripetal acceleration Always towards The center of the earth So if the center line is here So this is the AC The center line is here This is the AC Okay, so again How can The center line makes a rotation But it doesn't force So the feature must be sufficient enough to produce a force that can counter this FG gravitational force. So this force is called centripetal force. FC. This FC equal to MA. Now we want to know how much is the speed is enough so that we can overcome the gravitational pull, the FG. So we do the calculation, simple derivation. We learned previously gravitational force FG equal to G M M over R square, mass of the Earth. Mass of the satellite. Okay, then we have centripetal force Fg equal to mac. Ac equal to v square over r of r omega. Omega is angular velocity equal to two pi over t. Okay, one cycle in period, time taken. Okay, we we'll discuss about this later. So, you have to counter this one. So, F A sorry, F C equal to F G. So, we have M A C substitute with V because we want to know the value of V so that you are not going to fall down. M V square over R equal to G M M over R square. So mass of the satellite. That's a mass of satellite. R that's a with R. So we have V equal to G M over R square. Okay. So how we want to know what is the speed depends on how far we put the satellite. Okay, we put further apart. So maybe you need higher or lower speed. Okay, so you can do the calculation. Now we're going to discuss the period means time taken to make one rotation. So now again from V equal to GM over R square root. This is the velocity, sufficient velocity for the satellite to make rotation uh, to overcome the FG. So we also know V equal to R omega, omega equal to 2 pi over T. So it substitutes here, then we compare. So V equal to R omega equal to G M over R. So omega equal to 2 pi over T. Concept of K 
Kepler's law, which we are going to learn in coming lesson. Okay, am I clear? So please revise. Okay, start from Ft equal to Fc, and you get. Thank you.